World War II ended more than 50 years ago, but great airplanes like this B-17 are being kept in the skies by the Confederate Air Force. We're going to show you a little bit about the history of this great plane. At the time the airplane was designed was in 1935. They didn't even think it would fly. They thought it was too big to fly. It was the biggest airplane in the world when it first came out. This B-17G is a flying monument to the struggles that Allied forces faced in defeating Germany in World War II. Most of them flew out of England in the 8th Air Force, and it's interesting to note for history's sake that there was about 40,000 casualties in the 8th Air Force in B-17. The Confederate Air Force began saving planes like Texas Raiders from being turned into scrap metal back in 1957. Since then, they've managed to keep more than 140 warbirds in the sky, giving people the chance to catch an up-close look at a piece of living and flying history. And it's not to glorify war. We don't do it to glorify war. We do it to teach war, so teach what happened so it doesn't happen again. The crew of a B-17 was made up of 10 people, including a pilot, co-pilot, navigator, bombardier, flight engineer, a radio operator, and gunners who operated the 14 guns that defended the flying fortress from attacking fighter planes. For all the metal that makes up this 34,000 pound plane, it's interesting that the rudder and the elevators on the tail are fabric covered. It, it turned out that fabric was lighter and much easier to repair. You could fix a bullet hole real quick. So that's one of the reasons they went fabric. The volunteers who fly these great planes have a deep love of aviation. John is glad he followed his dreams. I never really thought that I could get involved with it. And I didn't start flying until I was 35. And what I would tell the kids out there right now is if you like aviation, then go for it. If you've got the will, you'll find the way.